The electrical phenomena we observe around us can be explained thanks to a surprising property of matter, electric charge. We can imagine that matter contains countless tiny positive and negative charges. The net charge of an object depends on whether it contains more charges of one type compared to the other, and it can be positive, negative, or neutral. Any object with net positive or negative charge attracts neutral objects. This attraction is strongest when it occurs between two oppositely charged objects. However, when two objects have the same charge, they repel each other. The tiny charges contained in objects can move and transfer from one object to another. When this occurs, neutral objects become positively or negatively charged. All objects become discharged over time because the tiny charges keep moving between objects. This way, objects go back to being neutral. Electric discharges can also occur at a distance, especially if the difference between the charges is very large. Insulators are materials that prevent the flow of electrical charges. In contrast, conductors are materials that allow charges to flow through them freely. To be able to use electrical energy, we need to control the electric discharges and to have them last for some time. This is what we call electric currents. The devices we build to that end are called electric circuits. In a circuit, the power source supplies electrical energy that is transported through wires to the loads, which transform the electrical energy into other types of energy. All electrically powered machines around us need circuits in order to work.